Okay, so now we want to keep doing some exp exploration here. Woo! Age ginseng. Oh, -ho. this looks like. I'm suspicious. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. That's a big one. Old ginseng guy. Excuse me? Boys, come out. Boys. Get down. I'm, I'm grumpy. Oh, so it gives poison. Get down. Wait, what's that? What's that? What is, what is that? Stop that. It seems to be slowing my movements. I can't move very far or fast. What is this? All right. Oh, I think I know what I needed. The ring of fire. Yeah, ring of fire seems like it would have helped out here a lot. Get down. Ginseng cape? Chest. Mm. Woo. Actually, we're going to wait for our mana to... Millennium Ginseng Seed. <gasps> so now I can start growing the rare ginseng. Or is it ginseng? I don't know, okay? We're going to wait for the poison to run out and then we're going to heal. And let me guess, this is another one? Uh-huh. Poke. Age ginseng. Alright, well, it's good to know that that was a thing. I had no idea this was here. I mean, I've kind of figured it would be just a bunch of, you know, ginseng guai. Or, you know, one of those plant demon things. But I didn't know, I didn't know that it would actually be a boss. Alright, absorb up. Mine. Old Jinseng Guai. Alright, so what does that do exactly? Alright, so first off, okay. It's to take the form of uh, moderately increases the maximum health of summoned minions. Oh, so it, it basically, okay. Uh, old Jin, take root to call forth one or more Jinseng or Jinsenglings to strike at the foe. Oh, okay. As for the chest, what does that do? Oh god. For a short duration after using the gourd, it moderately increases maximum stamina. <laughs> Boo. Wait, what else do I get? Oh yeah! Crow Diviner moderately increases chill resistance. <laughs> That's it. Oh, Spellbinder. Successfully casting Spellbinder removes all four Bane's effects. Recovers a considerable amount of health after successfully performing Spellbinder. Oh. Let's see. Each talent reduces the stamina cost of all actions while Spellbinder is active. The ratio of mana converted to attack. Oh. Oh, so I guess it eats all of your mana. Alright. Probably. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. But this is what I wanted to do. Ooh. 
Actually, I need more critical hit chance now that I think about it. And I should probably go under attack, so... Yeah. What's still new in my inventory? Oh yeah, the ginseng seed. Right, that's right. Oh! Let's go ahead and continue seeing what's around here. Like this right here. Jade essence? Drinks. Ooh. Alright, well. Let's, uh... Let's keep going. We still have more exploration to do of this whole entire area. Um, I... D Ooh. I see that. I see that. I want it. Gimme. But yeah, I should keep leveling up my critical hit chance because that's going to deal a lot of damage later on. So, I kind of need to keep doing that. But until then, I think we'll cut it there. Oh, hi. Hi. We'll go ahead and... Ooh, what's this? Gimme. We'll go ahead and cut it there. And then we'll come back with more when we're exploring more of Chapter 3. I think uh, we still have just a little bit left to explore, and then we should just basically be done with the whole entire thing. By that, I mean we still have to explore Thunderclap Temple after, and then we'll just basically call it there. Hopefully. Because this is a su it's just such a massive chapter, I'm getting real tired of being in here. Shut up. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. But yeah, uh, we'll definitely be back with more. So until then, take care of yourselves. Bye. Alright, so I found something. What do I get? What are the iron bowl? Tiny pieces of gold, small pieces of gold, and uh, this. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so I found another thing. You see that gate, Liz, where it had the two guys standing up top and then they just come jump down? There's a chest right behind this rock. Ooh, what do I get? Some will and refined iron sand. Okay, well. Let's just continue to do some exploration then, and see if we can find anything else before we get to the, uh, the Thunderclap Temple. Alright, so I found something new and interesting. This thing. I was doing a lot of exploration. Get down! Okay. Oh, and apparently that's a lesser Yalgwai. Alright, interesting. What's this? I know what that is! It's a mine core, and that is an awakened wine worm! Awaken wine worm. All right, so I have no idea which way I'm going, but basically um, I found this just by exploring backwards. So you know where that uh, vulture Yalgwai is when you're about ready to enter the temple? Uh, you just take a left and you just keep going from there. Apparently that's where it is. That looks like something down there. And thankfully I can go there. Get out of here. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going down now. Oh, no. It's somewhere I already was. We'll cut back to when we find something interesting. Alright, so apparently I found something else that's also interesting. This, right here. Sweet. Apparently, once you get the Awakened Wine Worm, you just keep going down the path, and eventually you'll just find this place, which is basically just that. It's guarded by about two vultures. You know, two vulture Yalgwai, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna kill him, but I don't think anything is interesting over here, but turns out there actually is. There was that. 
right there. So now if we go back, there's going to be something even more interesting, apparently, from what I understand. And by from what I understand, I mean, I saw a really big person thing back here. It's one of those giants with the flamey hands. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, yeah, there's... Oh, well, that's not what I was talking about. It's just... Oh, wait, that's a guy right there. Let's go kill him. Because he exists. Poke. And that's what you get for existing in my vicinity. You die. Yeah, see, there he is. There's the big giant guy with the big flamey hands. But then, what's over here? I mean, surely he must be guarding something important, right? I would assume. Or is he just out here to just simply be out here? Like, what? what's this? Just some fire bell flowers, okay. There should be another guy around here somewhere. Okay, ow! That's my health, sir, and you're dropping it. You need a pedicure. Oh, ow. Poke right in the head. And now is he gonna fall okay I would assume that's death if he manages to grab you like no negotiation you're just dead go wait already oh a gold spike plate curio let me see here what does it do Gold spike plate. Considerably increases defense, deals damage to surrounding enemies upon taking hits. That... That actually seems like a really useful item, actually. Especially if you're clumsy. And being ganged up upon. By enemies. Ooh, chest! No, stop it! Alright, let's go see what's in this. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Mine core and refined iron sand and some will. Cool! Man, exploring this place is really great. I guess going towards the temple was actually a really bad idea. I get all kinds of cool stuff around here. Man, that was really worth the trip. Alright, well, I guess without further delay, let's go ahead and get into, you know, the temple there. And find out what we can get. And get into, for that matter. But basically, you know where the big field of all the frozen monks, and there's a one vulture... Yalgwai... Thing? I have no idea what it is. I think he's a vulture, though. Anyway, you just take a left. You don't go to where the temple is. You take a left, and then you just keep going. I'll show you. See, this is where the field is, and that's where the temple is. So you just take a left, and that's where all the cool stuff is, apparently. But be warned, try not to fall down, because you'd have to take the very long way back. So, you know, try not to fall, because I did that, and uh, I had to run all the way back. So, we'll cut back when we're in the temple. <laughs> 